The Decameron is a collection of 100 stories written by Italian author Giovanni Boccaccio in the 14th century. The stories are framed by a larger narrative, in which a group of ten young people, seven women and three men, retreat to a villa outside Florence to escape the Black Death. Over the course of ten days, they each tell a story per day, resulting in the collection of 100 tales. The Decameron is notable for its realistic portrayal of everyday life in 14th century Italy, as well as its exploration of themes such as love, deceit, and power. The collection is also famous for its frank and often body depictions of human sexuality. The first day of the Decameron is dedicated to stories about people who are either separated from or reunited with their loved ones. One of the most memorable stories is about the noblewoman Gismonda, who falls in love with her father's handsome young secretary. When her father discovers the affair, he has the secretary killed. Gismonda then has his heart brought to her, and she dies after kissing it. The second day of the Decameron is focused on stories about people who outsmart or get the better of others. One of the most famous stories in this section is Patient Griselda, in which a young woman endures a series of cruel tests at the hands of her husband, a nobleman who is testing her faithfulness. The third day is dedicated to stories about people who are rewarded for their piety or punished for their sins. One of the most striking tales is about a young monk who was visited by a ghost in the middle of the night, warning him to reform his ways before it's too late. The fourth day of the Decameron features stories about people who escape danger or find themselves in unexpected situations. One of the most memorable tales is about a man who falls in love with a woman he sees in a dream. When he sets out to find her, he ends up in a town where he is mistaken for a famous doctor. The fifth day of the Decameron is focused on stories about people who experience great happiness or great sorrow. One of the most touching tales is about a young woman who is married to a man who is unfaithful to her. She eventually finds happiness with another man, but not before enduring years of heartbreak and pain. The sixth day of the Decameron is dedicated to stories about people who suffer or cause misfortune. One of the most powerful tales is about a nobleman who falls in love with a young woman from a lower social class. When she rebuffs him, he has her falsely accused of theft and sentenced to death. The seventh day of the Decameron features stories about people who experience unexpected twists of fate. One of the most memorable tales is about a young man who was banished from his hometown for a crime he didn't commit. He eventually returns and becomes a successful merchant, only to be falsely accused of another crime and forced to flee once again. The eighth day of the Decameron is focused on stories about people who use their wits to get what they want. One of the most famous tales is about a man who poses as a deaf-mute in order to eavesdrop on conversations and gather information. The ninth day of the Decameron features stories about people who have extraordinary experiences or are changed by their experiences. One of the most striking tales is about a young woman who is abducted by pirates and sold into slavery. She eventually escapes and finds her way back to her family, but not before enduring years of hardship and pain. The final day of the Decameron is dedicated to stories about people who experience unexpected reversals of fortune. One of the most memorable tales is about a woman who was falsely accused of adultery by her jealous husband. She is saved from execution by the intervention of a young man who falls in love with her. The two of them run away together, but eventually return to the city where they are reunited with her husband, who realizes the error of his ways and is reconciled with his wife. Throughout the Decameron, Boccaccio weaves together a rich tapestry of stories that offer insights into human nature, social class, and the complexities of love and relationships. The stories are populated by a diverse cast of characters, ranging from noble lords and ladies to peasants and merchants. One of the key themes that emerges from the collection is the power of storytelling. The young people in the villa tell their tales as a way of passing the time and distracting themselves from the horrors of the Black Death. But their stories also serve a deeper purpose, allowing them to connect with one another and explore the complexities of the human experience. Another important theme is the role of women in society. 
But Caccio's stories often feature strong, independent women who are able to outsmart or overcome the men around them. At the same time, however, the collection also reflects the patriarchal values of its time, with many of the stories featuring women who are punished for their sexuality or forced to endure cruel treatment at the hands of their male counterparts. The Decameron also offers a fascinating glimpse into the social and cultural landscape of 14th century Italy. Many of the stories are set in the cities and towns of Tuscany, and Boccaccio vividly portrays the sights, sounds, and smells of everyday life in medieval Italy. At the same time, he also explores broader cultural trends, such as the rise of humanism and the changing role of religion in society. Overall, the Decameron remains a landmark work of Italian literature, and one of the most important collections of stories in Western literature. Its influence can be seen in works ranging from Chaucer's Canterbury Tales to the modern short story, and it continues to captivate readers with its timeless themes and richly imagined characters. We hope you are enjoying the content on the Library Channel. Our team is dedicated to bringing you the best book summary, recommendations, and literary discussions on YouTube. If you are finding our content helpful, we would greatly appreciate it if you could take a moment to like this video, leave a comment with your thoughts or suggestions, and subscribe to our channel. This will help us grow and continue to provide you with more great content in the future. Thank you for your support and happy reading.